Welcome back, everyone, to the Fire Rises mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Russian uh, Soviet Federative Socialist Republic lover. And right now, we're about ready to invade uh, a certain country and have a good time doing so. Hopefully, we can do well. Um, we've not made enough divisions, I'll be honest. Um, we have an okay amount. It's not great, though. My goal is to smash through this blue state, this blue nation, very fast, especially through the south, and then cut them off in circle divisions and then rapidly push, uh, hopefully, east. Or west. But a special military operation in a certain place. Oh, the beginning of SMO. So if you're wondering about this one, please go right ahead. But you know how this happened. You attack until dawn, crushing the uh, Ukrainian defenses with air power and tank breakthroughs. Try quickly and focus on capturing the areas you're interested in. Connecting with Transnistria will be useful. Our soldiers must try to surround as many enemy troops as possible. However, the Blue Nation's allies will not stand idly by. Expect them to intervene in the conflict soon and plan your operations against the Blue Nation accordingly. Use all available means to achieve victory. If you can handle the Blue Nation, then half the job will be done. Good luck to you. The future of Europe depends on your efforts. Roger that. Cool. What new focuses do we get? Oh, we're down here. Ukrainian neo uh, funism cannot be tolerated any further. We know that the authorities in Kiev are preparing uh, are preparing plans to destroy Donbass and it's our duty to prevent this tragedy. Our preventative strike will be our response to protect the Russian people and to protect prevent the enemy from re realizing his plans. Operation Red Nipper. Hmm. Interesting. Or, sway the Ukrainian workers. Humanitarian missions. Exterminate Bandarite f fun words. Re-Sovietization. Restoring the Soviet Republic. I like that one. Expand communist resistance. Ukrainian Red Army. Sway the workers. Hmm. Miscellaneous expenses, miscellaneous expenses, resistance growth. More air attacks, not bad, too. The Ukrainian people must know that the truth. The Soviet army can uh, not as an invader, but as a liberator. The operation is carefully planned. We are striving to avoid any civilian casualties. We appeal to the Ukrainian workers. Soviet to Russia is your friend, and our goals are rid of Ukraine of the oppression of neo. Not funism. Uh, we're going to call all of our allies in. Like we said, we want to go in as fast and as hard as possible. Uh, you guys should go here. Robot assisted logistics. Sound cool to us. We've been bargoed by quite a few people, huh? Uh, would you guys like to join us? Oh, we already are in the war. Austria didn't like that. And that's okay. Struggling a bit in the north, but you know what? Isn't that pretty normal at this point? Come on. Let me go here and snipe that little tower right there, but we probably can. But we're doing okay in the south. You just need one solid front line, not multiple, but one. We're doing okay so far. It's not great. And exterminating. Uh, Ukrainian F word. Hiding under the banner of Bandera must be completely destroyed. We will not leave a single trace of this ideology so that Ukraine can once again become free of the oppression of the nationalism and fascism. Right. Keep these guys in place. Well, we're doing okay so far. There you go. Hey, destroy the Ukrainian tank division. Nice job. Oh, and these guys are now almost cut off. They do have a little thing there. Skirmishes of the Polish or Belarusian border. Oh, and they intervene. Oh boy, the war escalates. Well, we're not ready for this, so that's why we gotta move fast. Forts gun fire on minor skirmishes trickle from the border in the early hours of the morning. Prior to radio calls for reinforcements were made until these skirmishes were full-fledged battles. There was little time to investigate who fired the first shots as Polish forces began crossing over into our territory on an unorganized counterattack to capture forces while it discombobulated. Representatives from NATO met as soon as reports of combat were made and voted to invoke Article 5. They seek strength in numbers for what they lack in bravery. Oh boy. Cray Storm Z. Sure. War exhaustion. Well, that's not good to have. Hmm. And they're getting attacked. Belarus is getting attacked. Oof. Oh. Well, that's not good. 
General Minnet said, I've written several letters to you informing you of the gross conduct of your men. The most egregious of these offenses recently occurred during the defense of outside Kruvoi Ri. The men of the 28th Motor Rifle Division, which you command, slash your tires of my command vehicle along with other vehicles of high ranking officers. I'm aware of our disagreements and supply shipments. I'll stand by my statement made before. I require the needed fuel, clothing, and ammo to continue my offensives. I wish this matter not reach your chief of staff, for who knows if you'll keep your position of Jelasimov, as informed about his debacle. Signed, Dmitry Bulgakov. Huh. Well, look at that. Mariupol. Oh, this area is done. Should be okay. I'm more worried about all these guys spilling into here. Uh, go charge an enemy bunker, you stupid subhuman. Stop using my men for idiotic assaults. It's a great shame that enemy artillery didn't bury you in the command vehicle. It would save a lot more of my men's lives and be a nicer sight to look at than the body bags pouring out of the Kudavoy, you guy. Signed, Mikhail Mizinitsev. So what are the folks that we have? Uh, Operation Orokosovsky. After NATO intervened in the conflict, we have no choice. We'll activate a highly classified plan to eliminate threats from Poland and the Baltics. The operation will be a decisive step in the fight for security and the restoration of the Soviet influence in the region. Uh, okay, but what happened to the other focuses? It's fine. A little bit of a struggle. It's okay. Battle of Kiev. Nice. They launch counteroffensive. Oh. They get a lot of attack. South Ossetians volunteer to fight. A brigade's worth of South Ossetians have recently pledged allegiance to us and willingness to find the war against Ukraine. Many of these men are already battle hardened and have already been begun preparations to be transported directly to the front. They make like heavy power, power power, but they make up for in spirit. Their service will be of great use. Well, okay, that sounds good to me. Our goal is to get to Transnistria, so. Yeah, I think I should have made more divisions initially. Just because we don't have enough. And I didn't realize that some of the stuff we didn't have, I wasn't making earlier on. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Chemical attack in Ukraine. Oh, look at that. How oh, things have happened. Oh, unspeakable. Oh. Ground forces around Kiev have reported the horrifying use of chemical weapons in the ground uh, town of Albukiv. The attack occurred in early morning during a skirmish around the town. It's possible the attack was carried out by Ukrainian forces to halt our advance from Kiev. Several dozen civilians were killed as well as numerous Ukrainian and Russian forces. News outlets have already begun reporting the attack and blaming our forces for the threatened cr crime. The United Nations also called for a ceasefire to investigate the area. An abhorrent violation of Geneva. Huh. Mobilize the Air Force. Mobilize the National Guard. Every unit of our aviation is important to victory. Even old airplanes can be a decisive factor in a battle. We'll mobilize the Air Force to dominate the skies and support ground operations. Mobilize the National Guard. Some to activate our National Guard. These brave defenders are ready to stand up in defense of our homeland and ensure order in the liberated territories. Their strength and determination will be an important link in our quest for victory. Operation Wrangle. To Valery Germisonov, Chief of General Staff, a significant buildup of NATO forces in Estonia and Latvia pose threat to Russian uh, territorial integrity. Forces of terrain may pose a challenge, but our overwhelming force will crush them. This document is confirmation. From the head of state, that operations in the Baltics commence immediately. Enemy airfields are to be destroyed prior to the ground forces invade. Please sound below. So now we gotta take them out too. We took out the rest of Ukraine, which was not wasn't too bad. But Alexander, huh? We're doing okay in Romania. We did get encircled here a little bit though, but I don't think we'll stay encircled for very long, shall we? Romania won't last too long. As Azov leadership on trial after long and intense fighting across Ukraine, the neo Nazi paramilitary group known as Azov Battalion specially surrendered to his forces. Azov Battalion's leaders, such as Denis Porokopenko, were quick to be dragged to the streets and publicly humiliated, stripped of their fascist imagery, and were re regularly beaten. Eventually, the attack ceased as one of the world's shortest trials began. In the span of half an hour, people such as Porokopenko, Ihor Mosiochuk, and Vadim Troyam were sentenced to death by means of public hanging in Novorossiya. We are as of as terrorizing people with their acting like rabid dogs and tearing families apart. Of course, the leadership was quick to break, knowing that justice finally caught up with them. They were begging, crying, and pleading for mercy, just like how a pig knows that it will be slaughtered. These fascists know their end is near. Today, justice will be served. Javans won't save you now. That's the case. I want to see how far you can get out. 
by going straight to Tarlinden. Yeah, we're doing fine there. Oh, we got quite an instrument here too, look at that. Second Battle of Odessa. Hello? They naval invaded us. Are you kidding me? Bro. Gavachkov is getting popularity. After the communists came to power, Vladimir Vikachkov, Kov, known for his radical views and involvement in the attempted assassination of Anatoly Chubais, took the unexpected step of joining the Communist Party. However, unlike his past daring actions, Kvachkov preferred not to draw necessary attention to himself and remains in the shadows, watching events unfold. He waited, studying the new political reality and adapting to the new conditions. Everything changed with the beginning of the special military operation against Ukraine. This situation became a catalyst for Kvachkov, who, in sensing the moment, began to actively promote his ideas. His popularity began to rapidly grow among pro-Soviet nationalists. Kvachkov, with his reputation as a firm and implacable patriot, used his position within the party to rally revanchist and nationalist elements around him, convincing them that only the decisive action could restore Russia to its former glory. No need to worry. You guys will take care of all that stuff, that's fine. We're heading down to Bulgaria, we've got Voluntari Encircled, Modern Body Armor is nice. It's good. Surround the French Piggies. Operation Wrangle. Uh, we read this one earlier before, didn't we? Yeah. Missions, Cambodia against the EADI. Yeah, more breakthrough would be nice. Hmm. Nice. Pound new? Please not leave them alive. I'll launch of Operation Alexander. At 2200 hours, 1st November, tw uh, November 2025, our airborne forces took off from multiple air bases deep into NATO airspace. Many of them, the general staff, questioned the operation, calling it desperate. Indeed, this mass airborne operation is the largest since the Great Patriotic War. Flying without call signs or under false civilian identification, they successfully penetrated NATO air defenses, believing them to be civilian flights uh, fleeing the chaos. Polish forces were taken with complete surprise as their air bases came under effective attack. They served as well. well hopefully. There you go. That's good. <clears throat> oh, we're fighting Turkey too, huh? Okay. Rally the population? We could. Oh, we didn't mobilize the Air Force yet. Every unit of our aviation is born a victory. Even all airplanes can be a decisive factor in a battle. We'll mobilize the Air Force to dominate the skies and support ground operations. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Hello? What the hell is going on up here?
Low manpower. Yeah. Well, there goes those guys. That's good. Vilnius would be nice. Yes, would I take your city back, please? Very nice. Oh, we're almost in Sofia. Look at that. But since government announces the end of cartel wars. Oh, Mexico United. APLA is not doing well against Patriot Front, are they? Oh, the Mafia State. Well, it is what it is. You're just generic infantry. Anywhere you, where you can cut off the enemies, it's always a good spot. stuff. Oh. This hot's good there. Well, since you're here, you might as well. BMPT completes trial? Amongst a crowd of generals and important officials from the Duma, the BMPT Terminator was showing off to a spectacular success. Many doubts have been aired about the fully autonomous combat vehicle even being possible, but they have been washed away by the greatness of our engineers. The vehicle completed a rigorous optical course traversing several hills and ditches filled with water, past combat drills with flying colors. It almost seemed too perfect. Some concerns were raised afterwards. How would the AI identify allies? Should humans even possess such technology? Excellent. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Oh, we're definitely going to need more fuel. Oh, boy. Mm. This is going to be a little bit of a problem we're going to have to deal with. Not bad rally the population. The people must know who we're fighting against. We will strengthen the unity of society by explaining the true goals of our struggle. And the people as our strength, we, and only together we can win. You guys can come down here. All you really do need to do is hold the line. Oh, well, that's not good. Fine. I mean, you can't even unite you guys, anyways. Yep. Yep. You tried. No, it's Bulgaria's gonna fall. Where are you guys at? Uh, you probably want to take out this last guy first. Uh, and maybe we'll send you down here too. Japanese are down there. Not ideal for us, but whatever. Portuguese tanks. Turkey leaves NATO. Well, okay then. <clears throat> you probably shouldn't have a excellent unity if you're not part of it. Could be wrong about that, but you know. Oh, People's Republic. Hellenic Republic. Well. About a Kalin... Hello? But you just massively just spawned all over the place here. Are you kidding me, bro? Come on.
You don't get grease in with us? Come on. That's dumb. We work so hard to get grease. How can we not take blue? Five days exposed neo Nazi roots of dissent. Westerners foolishly decided to use, uh, utilize their dissidents and parade them as saints of democracy and liberalism. Meanwhile, the past speaks of other values they hold dear xenophobia, racism, and neo Nazism. All these views are frowned upon not only in Russia but on the West too. Except for it's convenient to forget, we'll help them remember. It'll help us help us show to people what kind of Russians we are really fighting for the so called Western values. Kaliningrad and Budapest. That is so stupid. They just automatically got it. So stupid. Fascists. Operation Polar Star. That wouldn't be bad. Five, this is the final push to Budapest and Warsaw. Oh, we're literally almost there. Ukraine, we are liberators. It's not bad. Raise a red victory banner in Warsaw. Oh. We'll beat them before we'll beat them again. Oh, that's not bad, because we're good factor. I like that one a lot. Our tanks only march forward. Weekly manpower, armor, speed, weekly wars for breakthrough. Almost in German territory. Uh, give us a couple seconds, we'll be there. And yeah, we're in German territory now. War escalation level 177, huh? Battle of Berlin. We've entered the beat layer of the beast once more. Very cool. Well, we have Berlin now. Exhaustion's not good. Come on. When are you going in? Why are you just stopping? Are you stupid? Oh my god. I hate how they just keep naval invading us. Come on. How much of Germany can we actually take? We're going to get the war exhaustion thing, so I'm not worried about that, but heroes on the front. Our heroes at the front are symbols of courage and sacrifice. We have a duty to support them until the people at their exploits. These heroes are our everything, and their story shall inspire everyone to fight for victory. 
This is so freaking stupid. What is this, Hoi 3? Are they just constantly naval invade? The war should have been over years ago. Why are you stopping? Hello? Hello? I'm losing my marbles here now. I don't understand. You know, if this is the similar to the pizza we're going to get, I hope we get all of Eastern Europe then. Because this is stupid. This is very stupid. Kill them all. Can we get Germany under us? Stupid Indians. Come on, man. People's Republic. What? Oh. So, what? What do our borders look like? North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Oh. Thought we we're gonna be at peace someday. Denmark, that's nice. Oh, I forgot. Oh, crap. I forgot about all this. Are you kidding me, man? Come on. I do not have enough divisions. That's right. Where there's a will, there's a way. Beep, beep, beep. And just go. It'll be fine. I'm not worried about y'all. Let's go to Denmark. That's nice. Warsaw and Budapest. Well, where's Warsaw? Warsaw. Budapest? Budapest. Uh. Okay, we're on the home front. A powerful war effort requires resources and production power. The partner state must ensure that our factories work with maximum efficiency, providing the front with everything it needs. We'll mobilize the economy for a victory. I hope we get a peace deal here. Um, we're balls deep in Germany right now. Yeah, we definitely have better planes. I mean, sooner rather than later, I mean, we're going to run out of enemies to take out. I can't believe we lost Leningrad, bro. Oh, victory. Oh, look at that. Well, uh, I don't like this peace deal. I should have taken, we were all, ugh, what the heck? We were so deep into Germany. We should have taken, my bad, that's my uh, bag here, but we should have taken at least a quarter of Germany. We took out Denmark. Are you kidding me? I know it was a scripted peace deal, but still, come on. That could have gone way better for us. That's my fault. But, like I said, it's my first time doing this. I wonder if this is going to be... Oh, victory. Victory is more than a word. It's a triumph of a great motherland. Soviet Russia united in the forces of brotherly peoples has defeated the enemy armies of Ukraine and NATO. We have once again gathered all the republics of the USSR under the red banner and the world sees socialism is invincible. It's a new era of mighty union brought back from the ashes. New treaty. Yeah, that'd be good to do. The CSCO no longer serves the interests of our time and places. Its place will be taken by a new shield of socialism. The Minsk Treaty Organization. So a new answer to threats from the West. The USSR and the social states of Eastern Europe loyal to us will create a powerful alliance before which all enemies will tremble. We will again prove to the world that the unity of socialist countries cannot be crushed. 
Hmm. As Soviet Social Republic, which grants this. Huh. <coughs> we were about the Soviet Union, but that is only the beginning. The time has come to weave our economies and force us into a single whole. Uh, the smooth integration of our republics will lead to unprecedented heights of development. The new union will become a beacon for all peoples who dream of freedom and justice. Together, we'll sweep away the old rule and build a new one. The Soviet Union has returned, shocking the international community. As the Union had once dominated the Eastern Bloc during the Cold War, only to meet its end at the hand of Gorbachev's reforms and secessionism, has returned in the form of an announcement shortly after the end of the Euro Ukrainian War. The first president of the founded the Soviet Union, Valery Rashkin, held a televised speech firstly praising the bravery of Russian troops during the successful special military operation, comparing them to the champions of the Great Patriotic War, while also addressing the reformation of the Soviet Union and the final destruction of the past world order. NATO unilaterally condemned the formation as an attack on world peace, while many nations in Africa and Asia went on to declare their support and recognition of the new Soviet Union. As the newly formed scars in Eastern Europe continue to heal after Russia's unexpected victory against NATO, it is expected that Russia will soon follow their victory by pursuing the reformation of the global sphere of influence in the light of power vacuum left by the greatest rivals' collapse. That's cool. The Union forever. Oh, I hope they're not important anymore. We need some serious rubber. The Communist Party and the Soviet people have finally been uh, reunited. The, the Union we lost more than 30 years ago. This is truly a great event. Hello? No? Darn it. Oh, okay. Uh, it's truly a great event, but we cannot yet rejoice. Although our countries are quite closely linked, we'll have to rebuild most of the ties between our republics and not count on state building. Our goals are clear. Our tasks are defined. Let's get to work, comrades. Oh, Jesus Christ. And time for the debuffs. pretty bad. Upkeep is pretty bad. But honestly, we kind of need it. Heroes of the War commemorated. They have, have done this nation proud. Nice. Very good. Oh, actually, hmm. I'm going to refigure your forces because this is going to be our main group here. We can actually edit all these now, pretty much 22.14. Now this is one we'll need to edit. You guys, Finland. For some, hopefully, I won't forget about you guys. Uh, I think Austria. Well, you know, Austria might come for us. You never know. Maybe the fins. Naval invasions and such. You just never know.
devastated our air force. Well, hmm, more daily political power, vision, tax defense, factory upkeeps, uh, money. I'm uh, oh that one first. Help in reconstruction. Crush the parasites. Rebuild Western SSRs. Oh, that'd be good too. The ruins of war will not stop us. We're rebuilding the Western Soviet republics, revitalizing them after the NATO bombings. Factories will start up again. Roads will shine, and working people will regain their homes. This is not just rebuilding. It is the rebirth of our Republican brothers, made strongly under the Red Banner. Nationalist groups have become active in Western Ukraine and the Baltic republics. They advocate the destruction of the reconstituted Soviet Union and the restoration of chauvinistic regimes in Eastern Europe. They've already started sabotaging and killing people who are loyal to us. We have to do something about it. Declare the position of the counter-terrorist operation. Moderate opposition, huh? Still pretty gas in Kiev. Ah. Oh. Oh, we just complete. Oh, I didn't even realize we yeah, inherited them. Negotiations. Oh, let's we'll see what happens. Directly intervene in Spain. down the resistance here first. That's a lot of resistance. Moscow's them. Raids wants me crane. Patrols. Strength and raids in Estonia. Get more compliance. Because right now that's pretty freaking high. Let's strengthen them paroles all over the place. Victory Day. Oh, there's Victory Day. Greek government overthrown. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Negotiations are successful. In each raging region, compliance would decrease by 25 and resistance would decrease by 25. Oh, that's great. Revolution in Greece. Neo Soviet democracy. Valery Rash can present the Soviet Russia together with a scientist from RSSO, a Russian scholar of socialist orientation, released the first book. Neo Soviet democracy. A book that describes the main ideological principles of modern Russian communists, a new model of the state structure of the Russian state and the prospects for future development. It is praised for its simplicity of explanation and accessibility. In order to understand what it's all about, it's not necessary to read all about all the works of the classics of Marxism before. The book became the basis for educational programs in several universities, which demonstrates the significance and importance of its content. However, there is harsh criticism from the extreme left-wing camp which accuses Rashkin of revisionism, of misinterpreting the experience of building socialism in the USSR and of the banal contradictions that can be found in his work. Despite the criticism, neo-Soviet democracy has been widely distributed among students and is, pop is a popular in circles that supports Rashkin, as well as continuing to generate interest and discussion in the Russian political and economic environment. The book is not as popular or broad, but has provided many experts with a better understanding of what is now generally happening in our country. Important work for developing ideology. Oh, that's great. Look at that. Can I meddle in their affairs? Oh, we can send negative seven. Okay, that's great. Ah, screw it, just do them all. As much as you can. Support Greek comrades. Whoops. There you go. What about these? Destroy separatism. 
National separatists who dream of undermining your unity will not find no place in the new USSR. Their dreams of a division will be destroyed by the iron will of the people. Ukraine and the Baltics will once again become an inseparable part of the Union, as they've always been and always will be. We will not allow the repetition of the mistakes of the past, for unity is our strength. A renewed federation. Dissolution of NATO. Destroy order in the Baltics. Oh. Huh. It's not bad. Or centralized power. There's this one. We'll definitely do this one, though. Uh, the new union must be just, and all its people have equal rights. We will create a true federation where every subject will be an equal participant in the great socialist project. From Moscow to the borders, no oppression, no inequality. Only equality will give us a strength that will lead us into the future. Catalan Revolution, support Portuguese comrades, that's fine, go ahead. Proletarian Internationalism, this is one first maybe. Ooh, that's good to do too, but this is good as, as well. Uh, our common homeland. The Soviet Union has been reborn, but its moral foundations have remained unchanged. We are one people, bound by common history, culture, and aspiration for a bright future. Neither borders, nor wars, nor ideological barriers can divide us. Our common motherland is not just a union of republics, it is a symbol of invincible spirit and unity of people. Together, we stand on the threshold of a new era where justice and brother triumph over division and hatred. Hopefully. This is not bad. German president assassinated. Very cool. Good job, guys. Our new federation's nice. Um, help in reconstruction, sure. Eastern Europe led in the war with NATO, but now under our banner. It will rise from the ruins. We'll reach out to our brother nations, rebuilding cities, factories, and roads. This aid is not just an act of solidarity, it's a strengthening of our common cause. Together with us, will, we will build a world of justice and equality. Our power will vitalize them. So the Patriot Front will win. Is still going up. French generals launch a coup. What's this? Prove multi role fighters, which I'll do in just a little bit, maybe. Military coup in Germany. Interpretation of socialism. All the countries in our lands will immediately become socialists, but will not be able to subdue them. The conditions for acceptance of the MTO become softer. Political integration. Well, I mean, there's this one, but. Uh, free interpretation. Every country has a right to its own path of socialism. 
Oh, the diversity of approaches should not be a weakness, but on the contrary, the strength of our movement. Let each republic build socialism as it sees fit, preserving its independence. Different paths lead to one goal of free and just society. We'll let the allies go their own way, for this is the free freedom of free choice of socialism. Engine's good. Save just in case, because I know the uh, former NATO countries are building up their reserves against us. Proletarian internationalism. Proletarians of all countries unite. The slogan has never lost its relevance, and today, as the fires of revolutions flare up all over the world, what once again become the center of the world's struggle for the rights of the working class. Our international is not just an idea, it's our duty to the oppressed and the workers of all countries. We'll support socialist movements on every continent because their victory is our victory. Only united proletariat can finally crush capitalist tyranny. So that's actually almost done for compliance. It's actually really good. How is the resistance go getting higher and higher? I don't understand. It's racing up. Good. Get all that stuff done. It's good. Uh-huh. Prussian parasites, the time of mercy is over. Eastern Europe awaits liberation from the last remnants of the fascist contagion. Reach out to our brothers and help crush parasites lurking in the shadows of the old world. The West has fallen, its ideals are dead, and those who dream of reviving this monster will find no mercy in us. Not a step back, the whole world of the future is with us. I guess, what are we missing besides planes, which I'll get to a little later? Any battle tanks, multi roll fighters? We don't have any rubber. We can't build Jack Squat. Still order good. Do all the stuff for Ukraine. It's academic development decreases. Increases, that's good. Turn people's state. New era of socialism. No. Oh, keep them down. Destroy separatism. <clears throat> <laughs> Good enough. 
not ready for another war. Oh boy, are we still demobilizing? Oh god, we are. Oh, the zero percent. Okay. And then we can do first union elections. The story of women has come, the first election of the leader of the new USSR. This event will symbolize that the people are the true masters of the country. Socialism is not only a strong economy and a great army, but also the power of the people. Millions of citizens will choose the first one who will lead the union forward towards a bright future. The first election will be the beginning of the new democratic era where every republic will be heard. Factory Alpha will come out more. I like that, but still. Good. Oh, there goes Islamic State. Oh, we're coming homeland. The Soviet Union has been reborn, but its moral foundations have remained unchanged. We are one people bound by common history, culture, and aspiration for a bright future. Neither borders, nor wars, nor ideological barriers uh, can divide us. Our common motherland is not just a union of republics, it is a symbol of invincible spirit and unity of peoples. Together we stand on the threshold of a new era where justice and brotherhood triumph over the division and hatred. Only negative three, huh? Oh. Why don't you look at that state of Palestine? Good job, guys. Woo! This is rough. Segregated regiments? I'm not sure that really benefit us. Combat equality. You lose the organization, unfortunately. But you do get the same amount of breakthrough and whatnot. Volunteer? Oh, uh, we might need to mobilize a little bit more. Yeah. Because <coughs> they come fighting for us, it's going to be pretty bad for us. Prince Dome of Friesland, huh? Out of Portland. Oh, this would be nice. More political power, stability, and whatnot, and our first union elections in 21 days. We're just waiting for something bad to happen. High taxes, unfortunately. Low interest rates, near zero interest rates. We are stagnating hard right now. I want to go to rigid training, but it costs us even more. Higher public education, high regulation, moderate regulation, immigration, mass rehabilitation, heavy surveillance, excellent workers' rights, perhaps. Sure, why not? America United under the Patriot Front. Oh boy. Far from what they've come, but what will they do now? Our tradition is revolution, our land is where our times come to die. The Patriot Front Manifesto. Life, liberty, and victory. Wow, that's a nice color blue, but because it was my favorite color. Well then, I haven't seen this one yet. For birth of American culture, blood and soil. Election results. First union presidential election was held is won by Valerie Arashkin. Oh, look at that. Oh, union ruble. Oh, that'd be really good to get, probably. Rally the party. Renanzjugendavites deal with Grudenanites, unite a party. It's not half bad. Obedient opposition. Union on the world stage. That's still not bad, too, but Union Ruble. That's good, at least. Sure, why not? Um, standardization of state enterprises. Let a hundred flowers bloom. Hmm. This one sounds nice. Let a hundred flowers bloom. Sounds like a good idea for us to help, too. Unification of our armies? Oh, that would help us, too. Invincible and legendary. 
We do need that defense pretty much immediately. Invest in AI development. Ooh, and then the Soviet Dream. A new Red Tourism would be good, right, as well. Developer markets. Not bad. Or expand the markets. Monthly income growth. Monthly income growth. Expand markets. Developer markets. Ooh. Made in the USSR. I think I want to go developer markets. We'd be more economic. Uh, advantage that way. A brand new USSR. We're going to do that very heavily. Uh, Union on the world stage. Opinion opposition. And rally the party, so. I think we'll end it there. The next episode is going to be us going to war once again for the second European war. Uh, once all these fascists can figure out what they're doing. And hopefully we can start building ourselves up a little bit more. Because, my God, we are hurting so badly. It's not funny. Um... But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in what will probably be the last episode of the campaign. Odds are. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.